Once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Consider subscribing if today is your first time and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can import PDF to Excel. So this is a PDF file and then there are tables within these PDF files that I would like to import into what? Excel and I use them for analysis. I don't need to reconstruct this table in, in Excel. Okay, so I just want to import this particular table where I have the column speed, driver car, engine, and then dates. I have other tables as well. If you want to import multiple tables, you can do that. So this is a PDF file that name is for table. And this is on my desktop. This is the file right here on my desktop. So we'll learn how we can import this into Excel. Okay, we want just this content of this table from the PDF file. So let's open Excel. This is my Excel file. And then I'm going to go ahead and then import this. In order to do this, go to a data tab within your tabs and then you once you click on data tab you should be getting what get data so we have the we have different places where we can get data from from database from azure from online but i want to focus on from a file and then from a file we can get it from a web book from a text then csv from xml but we want to use what from pdf so just click on that go ahead and then select where you have that file located in my case i have it on the desktop so i click on desktop and then I'll look for this and the name is for table. Okay. So I'll just look for, I'll just look for that file on my desktop, which is here table. I'll select that and then click on import. Excel will analyze this and then import the file for me. So we just have to wait for this to be analyzed. So Excel is still going to analyze this and then we can see the various tables we have within this particular X, uh, PDF file. We will see the various tables we have within this PDF file and then we can import them directly into Excel. So Excel is done, is done analyzing the PDF and it's going to get the table from the content, the pages as well, where we can import as table, the pages as well, where we can import them as table will also be analyzed. So we have the first table, we have the second table, so you can click and then get a preview of your table right here. So this is the second table right here. And basically this is the table we want to import. If we go back to our PDF file, this is the table we want to import. So we have the speed driver car and then engine. There's additional table over here. If you want to import this, you can do that. There's another one down here. So it depends on what you want to do. If you want to import multiple tables, you can select or select multiple items. So this will give you a checkbox. You can select multiple items. But in this case, I want to import just one table. Okay. So just click to get a preview of the table you want to import. In this case, we want to import this and then click on what? load you can transform this table by adding additional columns or even deleting additional column before you import but in that case in our case we want to import this direct so i'll click on what load excel will evaluate this and import this into the source for us you can see excel analyze this and then imported that particular table into excel for us and everything is intact okay so basically this is what we want to do you can import pdf into what excel so we've got our tables right here into what excel and we have the columns as you can see speed driver car engine and then date so basically you can easily import pdf into excel without any headache so I have everything. I can change this table. If I want to do any adjustment to this table, the header, do adjustment to that. I can do this. You can see, you can change the table. And we still have our column and everything intact. So basically, this is how you can import Excel. This is how you can import PDF to Excel with no hassle. Okay, so like, subscribe, because on this channel, I share more tip tricks, things that will make your IT life very simple. So if this is something you like, remember to like, subscribe, and turn on post notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. Like, come your way again. Bye-bye. <laughs>